It's rare to see Apple, Google, Microsoft, Facebook, HP, Qualcomm, Intel, Broadcom, and Marvel all on the same side of the aisle, but there's at least one place they publicly agree, they want chips and devices that freely take advantage of a new frontier in Wi-Fi, without pesky licensing or regulatory restrictions, and they're telling the FCC they'll need it to bring next-gen r vr glasses and data tethering to you. First, some context. Traditionally, Wi-Fi has been built on top of unlicensed 2. 4 GHz and 5 GHz spectrum, but late last year the FCC unanimously approved opening up the 6 GHz band for unlicensed activity as well, providing a huge 1,200 MHz chunk of wireless real estate for all manner of devices to communicate without needing to rely on cellular. But that pissed off the cellular industry, not to mention utilities like water and power which still use some 6 GHz microwave antennas for their communication backhaul and say they're worried about interference. Instead, carriers would prefer the FCC auction off a big chunk of 6 GHz they can snap up for additional cellular, which they argue the U.S. needs to be a leader in 5G. Obviously, Wi-Fi chip makers and hardware manufacturers don't want just part of the 6 GHz spectrum, so they're pushing hard with potential solutions for that interference worry. One is a technique called automatic frequency coordination. AFC, which could theoretically detect and stop harmful interference, but requires that Wi-Fi devices be registered in a database, which they say might be a bit of work. So now, these nine tech giants are petitioning the FCC to approve a new very low-power, VLP, category of Wi-Fi where small, low-power devices like smartphones that transmit below a certain power threshold, 14 dBm ARP, could traverse the 6 GHz spectrum without restrictions or worries according to a letter unearthed by Wi-Fi Now. Basically, it's saying your typical legacy microwave antenna is so high off the ground, fires so narrow a beam, that your typical low-power smartphone won't interfere even in places you'd suppose they might. Image via FCC we'd be talking about short-range, point-to-point connections between two devices, think within a room, not across your house. The letter suggests they could deliver 2 gigabits per second at a distance of 3 meters. Make sense so far? Here's where things get weird. Just like the cellular industry, these nine tech giants in the Wi-Fi camp are arguing their cause is important for the proliferation of 5G. They say devices like our glasses, VR headsets and in-vehicle entertainment need fast Wi-Fi data tethering, presumably to your phone or another mobile hotspot, to take advantage of 5G speeds.